Sir, I am Habibur Rahman and I am in class 9, school GBHS Lahar Kent and I am in the computer group and I am uh, very uh, passionate about learning about computers good. and coding is one of my dreams. That's good. So who's next? Okay, uh, I will let you know something about myself. My name is Al hai and I'm a game designer. I work in Fiverr Technology, uh, which is located in Gulberg, Lahore. So I have over 50 years of experience in game development and design. So, today's workshop is the gender. We have a lot scratch programming. बेसिक्स और उसमें हम एक प्रोजेक्ट छोटा सा बनाएंगे। Sir, I have also attended uh, many courses and classes uh, related coding, so I know very much uh, about this scratch coding and the block programming, etc. Okay. So, anyone else who has experience in coding or programming? कोई और है जिसने कोडिंग या प्रोग्रामिंग पहले सीखी हुई है या जिसका एक्सपीरियंस है इसमें आपका नो इट्स माय फर्स्ट क्लास कोर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रोग्रामिंग है क्या प्रोग्रामिंग इज जस्ट लाइक गिविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन टू अ पीसी और कंप्यूटर टू डू सम ऑपरेशन और वर्क लाइक यू आर समवन to bring a glass of water, uh, we can uh, do this uh, with the same our computer. So, uh, we have to do the same thing with the computer. We have to do the same thing with the program. It's a simplest definition. So, Scratch, Scratch is a programming language uh, and a platform in which you can you know, make programs easily without uh, doing any coding. Uh, you just have to drag and drop blocks, uh, which, which is you know, visual scripting and it's uh, easier to learn. Scratch, uh, so uh, which is our master, uh, uh, just programming or problem solving, ke ilawa, jo hai, creative uh, thinking or creative problem solving. Bhi hai. You know, uh, you just want to tell a story to someone else. Uh, and uh, if you can tell a story, you can just create a story in it or you can make a game in it. Anything fun you like. So let me share screen. Okay. So Scratch key website be jaye download or wahan pe jaake sign up karein. You just need to do uh, join Scratch and just put your name, password here. Otherwise, if you don't want to register, just continue with the start creating, and it will take you to the uh, editor itself. So, after going into editor, you will uh, see this window. Actually, there are multiple windows. So. On, uh, okay. 
So on my uh, right, uh, right bottom side, here is a supply uh, a window name supply. This is supply editor or supply menu. And then there is a you know a platform or page uh, in which you see everything you put in that uh, scene actually. Just like a stage uh, where we perform uh, some, you know, where we just perform. Like this is stage with a drama, maybe not acting, maybe this is a stage. Hai. This stage, you can see the things you can see, or visually, you can see the final product. Then there is uh, there actually a uh, code uh, panel on the left side of the editor. इसमें आपका जो है प्रोग्रामिंग के जो है बेसिक ब्लॉक्स बने हुए हैं सारे ठीक है इसमें मोशन भी है लुक्स है साउंड इवेंट्स कंट्रोल सेंसिंग ऑपरेटर्स वेरिएबल्स एंड अदर कस्टम ब्लॉक्स द साउंड एंड कस्टमाइजेशन ऑप्शंस एज वेल और दरमियान में जो है आपकी ये है यू नो इट्स जस्ट लाइक अ ब्रेन और सिंथेटिक कैनवास यू कैन जस्ट पुट एनी लॉजिक हियर एंड Then you can, you know, uh, oh. so, सबसे पहले हम देखते हैं ये स्प्राइट तो आपको स्प्राइट सेलेक्ट करने के लिए आपने किसी भी स्प्राइट पर क्लिक करना है यहाँ पे आप स्प्राइट को क्लिक कर सकते हैं उस स्प्राइट का नेम चेंज कर सकते हैं लेट्स से माई करेक्टर उसके बाद आप स्प्राइट की पोजीशनिंग सेट कर सकते हैं Um, we can modify like for our choices, right? Yep. Thank you. Or uh, and you can also modify uh, basic transformations like position, rotation, and scale. Actually, uh, in which in this scenario, uh, size is our scale. Size of character, you know, let's say five, and it will become really smart. And then you again set it to two hundred, so it will become a bit large. So hundred was called as now. Then you have direction that is your rotation of a character. You can rotate it like this. Since uh, this is a two D game, uh, uh, you know, game development uh, platform or two D platform, you can only rotate on Z axis. Uh, does anyone of you know what are vectors? Can you repeat? किसी को vectors का पता? What are vectors? Vectors. Vectors. Vectors in circle. Yeah, vectors. In the segment. Between two radii and as one. Okay. So uh, most of uh, the students will know, uh, you know, have knowledge about it. So vectors represent uh, an object's position in two D or three D space. In this scenario, oh. we are using two-dimensional space or two-dimensional coordinate system. So here is our, your x and y to move an object or place an object in this two-D space. Then you can uh, rotate it around z-axis, and then you can turn it on or off. Uh, here is another menu, um, the smaller menu. And that is for back, uh, backdrop menu. Here you can select any backdrop for your uh, scene. So uh, let's get a fantasy background. So, this will load the uh, backdrop, actually stage backdrop. So uh, as in common terms, we call it background. So uh, you can either create a story or a game. Uh, in, a, in this case, I will just add few uh, basic, uh, you know, things or basic code blocks uh, to this our uh, character, the cat. Okay. All you have to do uh, to select a character and then go to code menu. In this menu, you can add motion, looks, sound, or anything else. So right now, I will add a sound. Uh, Card and that will be play sound. Actually, it's block. So, play sound block. What uh, what uh, this block does is that uh, it plays sound. 
either you can select default sound or you can your own customized sound. Currently, we don't have any other, uh, other sound, so we will go with the default one. But you see, uh, after adding this, uh, actually, it's not playing new sound. So you have to insert an event. I would explain uh, that later what an event is. So I would say then this slide is clear. So simply, and yeah, now when you click this cat, it will play sound. So that was a simple script, or actually uh, that was simple logic uh, that we just made. Wasn't that easy? Yes. Okay. You can have some other uh, logic to uh, put onto this as well. So to remove a logic, you just need to uh, select that and press delete and then click delete. So there are other, uh, let's uh, use one from loops. So what this blog does is that it, it changes the color of your sprite or object. So uh, we, again, we will have to add an event. There are multiple events. Uh, when flag is clicked or other thing is clicked or space is pressed. So I would say when uh, this slide is clicked. So here is how it changes color. I said so 25%. You can change the effect as well. Will the color be permanent or it will be keep changing? It will be. Uh, uh, sir, the color time. will remain uh, permanent if there is, I think, only if we change the effect by one. And it will keep on changing if we change the number more than one. Actually, what it does it changes the color. Uh, uh, by the value of a uh, capture, like less than one, one will change it a bit slower. If you make it uh, number you five, so it will change color fast. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, now let's delete this one. So whenever you delete a sprite, uh, its logic is also deleted. So let's add another, another slide. So let's uh, write our name and uh, animate it or you know, add effects on it. So I would add mine. A for Ali. Either you can search for uh, this menu or you can go to letters and then click on. Uh, individual letters. So I would uh, keep adding. I am that. So my name is. Can we do it for fashion? What? What were you saying? Or can we do for fashion the you know the sprite? Uh, actually, you didn't understand your question. Can you repeat? Okay, let me send the question to. Okay. Uh, you can also duplicate a sprite here. And I would add another letter. So D. Yeah, let me add, add another question, 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 question. Okay. Actually, uh, that's for uh, making up of our character. Uh, we will do it after uh, we just, uh, you know, uh, put our name and animate our name. Or, uh, you know, 
add that to our name. So for the timing, I will go back. Thank you. So uh, to uh, place a surprise, either you can click it and put in the values, or you can just click on it and click and drag it around anywhere in the scene or in the, on the stage. I still need another duplicate. I will right click and then press duplicate. So, and okay, so I would request uh, you all to also follow this and uh, put your name. And let's uh, let this one uh, add some effects on it. So I would be changing color. So, um, does anyone? Know an event is yes, any, sir. Anyone knows what an event is? Sir, an, no. sir, an event is an occasion or something that takes place at a particular time. Okay, that's nice. Uh, or let's put it simply uh, when you click. Um, your a menu on your mobile that is that generates an event. So and then it, uh, that event initiates some operation. So in programming, uh, everything happens uh, in response to events. Like uh, you have used your mobile. Uh, everyone uses mobile phone these days. So whenever you click on something, something happens and that uh, that clicks response. So Clicking is an event, and what comes after is a response. So these events are similar uh, when this sprite is clicked. So each event has its name on it, uh, on its log. So when we add this log to this uh, event, so uh, when this, uh, when we uh, combine this event with another block, it changes. And let's say uh, uh, for this one, it changes its color. Now we will add motion. Can we put transition uh, effect on them? Like when we see in the slide form, they're you know, glowing or you know, bouncing everywhere. Okay. Yes, we can put. Since there are multiple types of code blocks, uh, first of all, there are motion code blocks uh, that help in for, um, adding motion, rotation, uh, transformation to any uh, sprite or object. Then there are blocks uh, that um, help uh, in changing looks or changing colors. Then there are uh, blocks of sound. Either they play a sound or change pitch of your of sound or clear all the sound. There are, uh, are different. Uh, there are many, and we uh, when we will use it, we will explain it a word. And then there are events. Stars. Uh, and there are many events like whenever you play a, a you know, keyboard key, or you click on a sprite, or you click on play. Then there are control structures or control blocks. Sir, they uh, they act like loops, huh? Control the structures can be loops or you know uh, conditionals. There are multiple kinds of control structures. Uh, a loops, but uh, uh, it does 
you know repeat a process until a specific condition is met like in this uh, in, uh, in this case we are uh, repeating this 10 times when we click on it it will repeat 10 times sir so, so, can put infinity here uh, what did you say Sir, can we put infinity in the loop one? You can put infinite loop. Uh, that is called a forever block. So whatever do is that? So that's forever or infinity. Okay, sir. Sir, can we put two event blocks on one motion block? Like, yes. can we also put wait one second? Like uh, let, me just, uh, let me just do it. Um, let's see. Done. And then I will say, you know, uh, <laughs> even, 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 let's try this group. Okay, so you can do that. So, Add movement to our eye character or third object or third object. And I would add a keyboard key of right arrow. So when I press right arrow, it would move in the right direction. What if I want to uh, move it uh, in both direction. So I would do it uh, sequentially. So first of uh, first I would add less uh, movement or negative x movement or left movement to R, and we will uh, add uh, upward and downward. So I would say left arrow and I would add minus 10. What minus 10 does is that it moves our sprite into left uh, x axis or left direction. So let's add some logic to A as well. Oh, 
we have put all four directional movements separately on four different characters for now what if i want to add all direction uh, all directional movement uh, four directional movements on a same onto same character or same uh, object also right so what would i do is that i would add if and else block here So I would go to control and so anyone knows about if or else? Does anyone have any knowledge about what an if or else statement or if and else block is? Hello. Can anyone hear me? Yes. Okay. So, do you know about what an if or else? A block is just tell uh, the answer in yes or no. No. Don't worry. Okay. So I will explain. Let's say uh, you want to decide uh, which dress to wear or which uh, ice cream flavor you want to eat. You will say if there are summer, I would eat uh, strawberry, or if uh, it's winter, I would eat banana or something else. So then you are choosing between options. So when we have options, multiple options in which uh, we need to choose uh, based on a certain condition, then we use if or else for block. So did you understand the concept now? Hello? Okay, so I was asking if anyone has, uh, uh, if anyone understands now what an if else code block is. I think your mic is muted and you're speaking. So, there I am listening. Okay, so 
if you are understanding about if else is clear now or i have to uh, do i have to explain it a bit more So please explain it a little bit. Okay. So uh, I was uh, telling um, previously is that uh, let's say we have to decide uh, which book, uh, uh, which story do you want to read first. So how do you decide which uh, story book? Uh, you want to read first. So uh, use uh, check the conditions. Uh, you, uh, you let's say uh, you said uh, you would read the that book uh, first, uh, which would you uh, which you uh, which book you love more or uh, are you know, curious about or uh, deciding on or uh, either to carry an umbrella to school or not. It is sun, uh, sun is really, really hot or. Is it if it is raining, then you would carry an umbrella. Otherwise, you would not carry an umbrella if the weather is good or fine. So whenever we have, okay, uh, let's take two minutes break for Azan.
Okay. Uh, I think uh, 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 three minutes past. Uh, oh, let's start. Again, uh, let me refresh uh, some, uh, you know, info about uh, Scratch. I was posting in the comments uh, in the chat. Uh, this is Scratch. Uh, you can not only uh, you can, uh, learn about programming or programming concepts, you can also learn how to solve different problems, how to think, how to uh, express your creative ideas. Uh, let's say you're playing a game and you just want a game of your own. Uh, your own. Game and then you have to tell a story. Uh, you, can, you want to tell a story visually? You can have a scratch. You want an interactive uh, learning uh, or interactive lesson or interactive story. You just use scratch for that purpose. Uh, in our you know uh, lexical uh, terms, we have a professional term uh, which is gamification. Uh, you know, uh, we, where we create game-like interactive experiences for education. Uh, so students can le learn uh, education concepts very easily and without any hassle. So again, I will uh, explain uh, different uh, windows. And in Scratch, uh, you just go to scratch.mrt.edu. Uh, then either you can create an account or start without an account. Then you have uh, on the right bottom side, uh, you have a sprite editor or sprite menu. This would have all the sprites uh, you are using in, on your stage or in your scene. A stage is just like a performance stage uh, uh, you know, or a scene, uh, like we have seen in films and dramas or stage. So you have backdrop or background image or environment for this stage. Either uh, you can choose uh, from the default background or you can use your own and you can also upload your own backdrop. In the same way, you can uh, choose any sprite. You can add any sprite. Uh, you can upload your own sprite. Even you can paint your own sprite. And same is the case with backdrop. In the middle, uh, you have a you know empty slate or a brain window, uh, which is linked with this code window, and you can just drag and drop one uh, many of these blocks onto this panel. This will uh, this will add uh, you know logic or program programming script to your object or your sprite. So uh, we were animating, we were uh, adding interaction to our name. I have added the uh, color change logic, rotation logic, uh, movement to different characters of my name. Whenever you delete a character or sprite, its logic is also deleted. So what I would uh, do now, I would add Simple character, uh, like someone requested earlier uh, that we should use fashion products. So let's say this is uh, just like a Barbie dress up, dress up game. So we can add various items like dress, we can add shoes, shoes, of course, you can add shoes, we can add. Party hair, so simple hair, glasses. Like the video hair, actually. So, here you can drag and uh, position shoes according to her feet position. And you can click on hat 
place it on her head. You can also rotate it. Towels on her face. Okay. So here you created a character uh, or a dress up, simply dress up. Uh, now we will add uh, our cat. Actually, let me see if we can add the cat back. So, yeah. Matlab ke yeah. What are you saying? Can you repeat? Hello. I can't hear you. Can you uh, just write in the chat? I think you have uh, your problem with your microphone or internet connection. Uh, that's why I can hear you. So let's start with uh, our logic. And <clears throat> My plan is to add a four dimensional movement to this character or two dimensional movement to this character. So I would say I would add a four block, a three control block, if then else. And I would add Okay. I would add events. Uh,
let me add multiple blocks using type two. Okay. Uh, all I want, uh, all we want to do is now uh, move uh, this character in both sides on x direction. So when I would press right arrow, it should move towards right. When I press left arrow, it should move towards left. Sir, when will we make the project? When would you make a project? Actually, it's a workshop, and I think I'm supposed to explain uh, basics and some advanced concepts too. Uh, but for project, I think uh, we should do that in class. Okay, sir. Okay, now we will add some clicks on it and start the split. Here I have added a message uh, block. And whenever I click this slide, it will say hi, I'm, hello, I am Isha. So let's add this slide. People, same character twice. In direction control, you can either rotate a character on Z axis, flip it, or reset. Okay. So a bit more rotation. Drop to Okay. 
okay uh, let's add some logic for dragon currently we don't have sound for dragon so i would add a sound Okay, we will add another message and you will say, Hey. Change duration to three seconds. So whenever we click, we will say, "Hey, I'm a white dragon." Okay, kids. Uh, so <clears throat> for now, uh, here's our a bit of a small story. The girl go, uh, goes to the dragon and then says hi. When you click on it, she says hi, Aisha, and the dragon replies, Hey, I am mighty dragon. So now we would explore some costumes as well. You would see how we can. Change size of sprites or edit our characters. We can also change. Uh, color. We can also pick color from one square to another. Okay, anyone, any questions? Any more questions about it so far?
Okay, students. Uh, so there are uh, to be no one asked <laughs> any questions. So is there anything uh, you uh, guys did in lunch time? No, sir. So uh, uh, let's talk uh, about Boreal and create a story. So on Boreal tab, there are many uh, starter projects. Uh, you can do it. Okay. So I will delete these two and do this as well. First of all, let's go back. So how uh, can you add a backdrop? Just go to, to the backdrop button and click, and then you can find any backdrop. So in this case, uh, I think we are gonna add on which house. And that's it. And then we will add our wizard character. So we go to people. Wizard, wizard, wizard. Place it down here. Then we will add some code. So let's left click. We will then have a message. Message, message, message. Looks. You say welcome to the magic school. Okay, then we will add another character. Uh, let me be, I think, our hero. We can always customize any character. We can flip this direction, change color of this clothing, and I think for now, let's leave it. That's important. One flag click. So, 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 so we would add an event when flag is clicked. So when we will click this flag, there will be a message shown for a specific uh, amount of time. So we can also add a weight control here. That would keep him waiting for two seconds, let's say, or let's say three seconds. And uh, Oops, we have another message. As you would say, I'm going on and going on. When you play it, he will say, welcome to magic school. And another character, our hero would say, let's delete this again. So uh, he will say, I'm going on an expedition. Waiting, uh, first she will wait for th three seconds and then uh, another message will show. So now we have to do a backdrop change. The mountains. And go to mountains and Thank you. 
Sir, we can research any backdrop. Yep, we can search any backdrop if uh, that backdrop is present in the library. It will show. Otherwise, it will say nothing found. And uh, you can also add your own backdrop. You can design your own. Or I think you can design your own backdrop as well uh, from here. Paint. You can just. Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, this is a. Uh, let's say this sun and change its color to yellow. And it would represent sun. Actually, more like more brighter. Um, then, then, then you can also have. Uh, Okay. Okay. So that would be my sky. I will make it a bit lighter. So there should be a uh, ha. So uh, when you are working with multiple. Uh, Rights or multiple drawings in the backdrop editor or backdrop menu, uh, yeah, back, or backdrop customization menu. You can always move things in front and back. Look how it changes, and then there can be water or ground. So, any shape actually let's add. Another object and that would have a color, you know, close to earth's color, it's darker, that would represent down. This is fine. You can always edit this, I think. And Okay, let's add some triangles. Uh, let's see if we can add some triangles. Will be triangle. Okay, so that would be our mountains. So you can draw any shape and change its color. And bring that to back. This will be on front, and that will be on top of each other. Everything okay. So here's a simple black uh, backdrop. Uh, in this way, you can uh, draw anything. I would simply use the mountain because my drawing isn't as good as. Uh, Okay, so I will now add some logic uh, so we can change backdrop when we click the, on our hero character. So when we click black, actually, click backdrop too. Backdrop. Looks. Oh yeah. It will change looks definitely. So, which house? We would wait for second. So we would wait for second. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. 
four seconds wait and wait slip back drop to without so he says welcome to magic school i am going on an expedition one two three welcome back to Okay, nothing happens because uh, we have not added a major condition. Uh, that should be wait four seconds. Actually, not this time. it out okay uh, i think i forgot to tell you that uh, whenever you want to test this test this flag and you see a story will would start okay so we need to hide this one and back drop switches press uh, even Can we make the humans move? What did you say? Can you repeat? Sure, I can say it. I can see the pictures, the illusions, the humans are. Can we make them move the hands and the face? Yeah, the, we can move their head. We can add animation. Uh, that is uh, beyond uh, this work. Uh, you know, beyond the scope of this workshop, we will uh, be adding uh, working on animation uh, in our next classes. Okay, thank you. So here's our simple story. Turn it off. So, uh, would anyone uh, like to create their own story and show me if you have done anything? All you need to do is uh, first add a backdrop, add a character, show some messages, and then you, uh, you need to switch those. Uh, um, backdrops and hide character after a few seconds. So uh, let's uh, have another story. Do we have to send our work to? You just need to share a screenshot. Uh, but what is the deadline? Maybe in 10 minutes. Just a simple one. Doesn't need to okay. have be a lot. Uh, just like this as you made right now. Yeah. But I'm on mobile, so it is difficult to do it. Okay, uh, let's uh, let me add a story of my own. Simply, 
Okay, I would just change a backdrop and uh, they should be jungle. So, simply, uh, this story is about a dragon. Okay, so he lives in the forest and he flies in the sky. So, I want this uh, to visualize this story. So, what I would do in programming, uh, when we are uh, you know, uh, when we have, uh, read a problem, or we when when we are offered a problem to solve, or when we need to solve a problem, first of all uh, we uh, break down things into smaller tasks. So let's say you want to create a story, and the story is about a dragon, and dragon lives in the forest. So first of all, we uh, added a forest background or a backdrop. Then we added our character, that is a dragon itself. And okay, let me uh, flip it towards minus ninety at least. So okay, then we would need to define actions or you know messages or. Uh, logic of each object. So uh, in this story, our dragon uh, is main hero or main character. He would say, hello, I'm a dragon. So whenever we start our uh, scene or whenever we start our game or program, dragon should print a message or show a message to screen or to audience. So uh, for this purpose, we need to uh, add an event. So how would our program would uh, you know uh, know if and if, if, uh, if uh, you know uh, our program need to show a message or not? So we would add an event of when a flag is clicked. This flag uh, from uh, like when green flag. Green flag means uh, we'll go. So when go is clicked, uh, what should we do? We should wait for one second or two seconds. I would say, let's say two seconds, and I will show a message. So, since message uh, is a visual uh, component or visual uh, card, so we would go to code looks and let's say okay. we would use this message. So, what this block uh, what say block does is that it shows a message and hides it after this uh, after two or three uh, given time. So I would say, hello kids. I'm a good friend. So whenever we play this, uh, it will show a message, hello kids, I'm a good dragon, and hides it after two seconds. Then again, we need to uh, add a wait of uh, you know, two seconds, and uh, I want to show something else. I want to, uh, uh, you know, he would say, my job, I live in the jungle and then I fly in the sky. Uh, do you want me? Uh, do, you want me to, do you want to see me? How I fly? Then he would fly into, you know, he would, uh, the background, background would change. So, um, actually, let me do this uh, along. So, uh, you know, a story is uh, uh, story writing or story explanation is just like uh, writing an essay about myself. Uh, in our early earlier classes, uh, we were used to write myself, uh, you know, an essay about you. But who are you? What is your name? Uh, which things do you like? What things you do? What are your hobbies? So you can also uh, create your own character or choose a character that fits best for you, and then uh, just uh, introduce yourself uh, or write that essay and represent it visually. So I would, he would say, I live in this jungle 
And then again, I would say, uh, it would, uh, you know, a bit for two seconds. With the two seconds, I would again duplicate this block and put another block. And he would say, uh, fly. Okay. And then uh, let me add another backdrop. And it's a um, blue sky, simply. So, first of all, when we play, uh, our dragon would uh, say something, and then again say something, and he, then he would say, let's fly. So, uh, after that, uh, there should be a change of backdrop or a scene should change. So. I think we would need to add an event like we did in the last example. So when flag is clicked, so there, here's the thing. Uh, after how much seconds, how many seconds do you want to uh, change the backdrop? So let's calculate two plus two and plus two. So it's total of six seconds. So I would want to, you know, uh, let's say change uh, Backdrop after eight seconds and also uh, well, change backdrop, change backdrop. Switch, 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 switch backdrop. Five star star. Blue star. Okay. Blue star. Yeah. So let's see. Again, should have created. Somehow, let's fly is not uh, okay. I'm flying at you. Two, two, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot two is plus two plus two. It's six, eight, ten, and twelve. Actually, it should be thirteen seconds. Uh, since our test is disappearing after two seconds, so uh, we would need that time to. So, we can also uh, add another function or another uh, logic. Block. Sir, uh, Dragon will not uh, fail, uh, move like uh, that. He is now. Uh, flying, we will not make a transition like he is flying to the sky. He would make a transition. Okay. Uh, that's what that I was gonna say. Okay. We just, uh, let's uh, change its, you know, pose uh, uh, or his costume when he's in sky. So he would be flying. So mm -hmm. let's duplicate this one. Actually, Let's not duplicate this one. And just oh, just do this. So costume, we need to change costume, change costume, change costume. We uh we will need to add date. Date for Twelve seconds. 
So we need to add one second of wait and then we will say click the stream to dragon tree. Simply dragon tree. I think yes, not the dragon B actually. So let's wait again. This should be 13 seconds. So um, our story, uh, short story is almost completed. And so as a time for our class. So I hope uh, you like this uh, workshop and you will continue uh, with our classes. And in, the, in those classes, we will be doing uh, different things. We will be um, making um, many smaller projects and, and eventually at the end, a bigger project Again, or an animation, we will be adding custom, you know, uh, multiple or advanced level of uh, logic blocks and animations too. We would also, uh, you know, uh, use our own uh, images or supplies. So I hope everyone does like uh, this session. So I would request you to create uh, a myself. Uh, kind of story on your own and add a character and then share to our page uh, on the Facebook. So any more questions? No, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you. Then we should wind up. Okay, bye. See you soon. Okay, sir.